Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well we're going to continue on with our little series of videos here. We've been using Divi 4 and we're going to be customizing it new, using the new theme builder. Uh, yesterday we made a custom product page. Very simple, very quick one just for a demonstration. And if we go back today, what I'd like to do is modify our cart page. So actually, let's add a couple of products. I'll go back in there. Let's add some of those to the cart. And also, let's add a shirt or something to the cart. We haven't got a custom page for this, obviously. Okay, now we've got something in there. Let's have a look at our cart. And there it is. There's a standard sort of WooCommerce cart page, which is fine. It's nice and clean, good looking. Um, obviously, you can modify your settings and everything up here. But really, we kind of want to make this our own uh, to be more in, in line with the styles that we've got going on on this. Like I said, I've not put a lot of thought into the styles. It's a pretty ugly site, but this is just a demonstration of how you can customize it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to our theme builder that we've been working in recently. And let's add a new template for our cart. Hit the little plus icon. Now it's going to ask you straight away what you want to apply it to pages posts archive pages shop cart there we are that's what I want cart so I'm going to check that say create template by default it's put in the global header that we made if you want to see how to make global headers and footers and custom headers have a look at our previous previous videos I'll put the links down below and I think I'll put a custom header in here. This is a header we created with a little sort of sale countdown timer in it. So let's just trash this one. Left click and drag this one across. There we go. Now what we need to do is add a custom body. If we look at it, save it now and look at it, we'll have our custom header and global footer on there. But we actually want to customize the body itself. So let's go ahead and click on this build a custom body let's start building from scratch there's a lot of templates you can download but we're doing it from scratch here because templates don't always work for people and this way you can do it exactly how you want now it's asking us to insert a module you can insert any module you want you can have sliders blurbs call to actions whatever put in what exactly what you want I'm going to keep it simple here and just have a, a simple checkout page but you can add any of these modules before or below now the one thing you really got to remember here is you've got to put a module in called post content and you might think well I've not got any posts um, and I want this to be my um, checkout so I want a woo but you have to put in some post content here it is post content and it will actually dynamically pull your WooCommerce cart info in. It might not look like it when you're doing it. Let's put this in there. As you can see, that's post content, nothing to do. It looks like it's nothing to do with your WooCommerce cart, but actually this is gonna pull in that information. So if we save this now, let's just put in a custom background so we can see. I'm going up to the section. I'm just going to, I guess I'll put a gradient background in. We've been using this silly sort of purple color, so I guess I'll continue with that. Let's make uh, this one white, perhaps, and this one purple. There we go. Might take the opacity down just a little bit. There we go. So let's save this and actually see what we've got save the changes to the module as I say you can put in any sort of module you want as well but I'm going to keep this simple by just doing the the woo I want to save our page changes 
Now let's just X out. There's our custom car. Before I go here, I, ma I make this mistake every time. You want to make sure you save your changes, a little green button on the theme builder pages, because until you do that, they will not be applied. So here's our regular car. When I refresh, we should have a little purple background going on here. There we go. I mean, not really exciting. But now we want to go about customizing this a little bit more how we want it. Perhaps change our titles to purple. These blue buttons, they want to be purple. But of course, you need to do it the way you want to do it. I'm just demonstrating how to do it. Now, we can make some simple changes by going into the theme customizer itself. So if we go to our dashboard here, let me just X out of that and we'll get back into it. If we go to our dashboard, down to Divi, theme customizer. If we look back over here, these are actually buttons, or at least some of them are. So we can start that with our customizer so here's the customizer loaded. Here's buttons, button style. Let's make them real leery. Let's make the text yellow. <laughs> and we'll make the background color purple. And same with the border color. Let's go back with a little arrow and do the hover style. Uh, same thing. Well, in fact, we'll leave that as white, perhaps. And let's make this purple with 50% opacity. And border color, we'll make purple with 100% opacity. Let's publish our changes here and see what difference it's made. Now, when I refresh, hopefully that should have changed some of these buttons here. There we are. And doesn't that look garish? But uh, that's just how to style your buttons to be in line with whatever else you've got there. There's our little custom header we created the other day with the logo menu and a countdown to the sale. Okay, that's pretty much all I want to do there. I guess we could change these sort of things to purple if we wanted to, or whatever color you want. Now to do that, let's enable our visual builder and see if we can't do it on the front end here. Now, once the visual build is loaded, let's actually go into the module itself, which is right here. We've got the section, we've got the row, and we've got the module. Now, if you wanted to, you could make this full width, but I'm gonna just leave it just as it is. So let's go into the module, the dark tab here, the little settings cog. And when you hover over, you're gonna see these little buttons here, these little blue paintbrush. Now, if you wanna edit anything here, you can click on the little paintbrush icon and it'll take you to where you want to go. So the only thing I really wanna do is that one right there. So if I click on the paintbrush, it takes us to the text or the link color right there. And you can do anything you want, align it, bold, semi-bold, capitals, whatever you want. Um, let's just change this to white maybe, I don't know, no, let's change it to our default purple I guess, there we are. But you just need to do exactly what you want to do to this. So that's, that's sort of styling up nicely there. What else have we got here? We've got the headings if you want to change those as well. Again, bunk. Some of these other things, all of this before I would have had to do with custom CSS. So that, that's pretty useful right there. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's just save that, save our changes. And just to make it look a little different from the regular checkout page, what I'll do is Okay, what did we just change because it's taken away our little link there? I 
think it was these titles, was it? Let's have a look at that. I've just noticed our, our procedure checkout is, is barely visible there. The last thing we changed, I think, was this. No, that didn't affect it. Okay, what else was it? There we go, that's what it was right there. Okay, well that, that works for me, the white's fine. I might wanna bring that riding up just a little bit in size. Or we could turn it yellow, <laughs> it's gonna look really ugly. No, I don't like that at all, there we go. So let's save that and exit, we can see anything. Let's go back into our customizer module and just add a couple of other modules, just make it our own sort of thing, so save the page changes okay and let's exit the visual builder and now let's go back into our theme builder go into our custom body that we just built and just add a couple of more modules just to make it our own and as you can see, it's displaying posts, but uh, it's nothing to do with that. It's just pulling in the metadata from our WooCommerce, which is great. So let's go down. Let's add a new module. I'm going to add a Divi Shop module. There we go. Recent products. Let's give it sale products or something. Um, product count 12. That's fine. And there it is down below there. I'm just going to leave that exactly as it is. What else do we want to add? Let's add one more module. Let's just add a title or some text or something and put it at the top. Post title. Okay, if I put that up there, it should pull in the title of the cart itself. So there it is right there, design wise. Uh, let's make it centered. And the metadata, which is this underneath, or meta text, let's center that also. And I guess I want to make, it, make that title text purple like everything else that we've got going on here now let's make it bold perhaps there we go i'll leave that as dark and let's just drag this one at the top It's showing the featured image. Let's go in there, get rid of that featured image. Elements. Show title, meta, show author, show date, categories, comments, featured image, off. There we go. Now let's try that again. Sometimes when you drag these to the top position, it can get you lost. If that ever happens, just click this little purple button. You can go to wireframe mode. And you've got everything laid out sort of back end style the way it used to be. So let's go back to our desktop version. Okay, let's save that. I'm not sure that's going to work or not, but it's there. We'll have a look and see what we've got. Okay, now it's saved. Let's X out. Go back to our cart. And let's refresh. Yeah. That worked fine. It's pulling in the metadata for the cart, Divi Woo. Here's our products we've added to the cart. You can update your cart, apply a coupon, proceed to checkout. And here's our little for sale items, our little Divi shop item we put down below there. So we really have made this our own now rather than the sort of generic version that 
that went on there and that'll fit in more with the style of your site which is great Divi just keeps getting better and better if you want to take it for a test run you can do so from my affiliate link below this video so I hope you've enjoyed that if you have please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel we'll be doing a lot more on this once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and web design and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day.